And hey, well, this is Francisco. I want to share Dr. Phone. And have you been having issues being able to use your Wi-Fi on your iPhone? Uh, right here, I've actually got five methods of solving this issue for you on your iPhone. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Now give us a like if you like this video, and I'll, don't forget to leave any of your comments uh, down below as we move forward uh, with this tutorial. Also, don't forget to share this video with others, and most importantly, subscribe for more content just like this. Now let's get right into the first method. So method number one. Sometimes the iPhone connects to Wi-Fi, but you cannot actually access the web or use the internet for any other purpose. And this is usually a pretty strange situation because Wi-Fi is turned on in your settings and iPhone is actually joined up to a network and you can see the Wi-Fi icon being active at the top of your screen as well but when you try to access the internet or use any kind of web browser you get no results in order to fix this iPhone Wi-Fi problem just go ahead and switch your Wi-Fi router off for 10 minutes and in the meantime forget the network that you were connected to and by visiting your settings then Wi-Fi and then the name of your network and then click on the information icon from there and finally tapping on forget this network and I'll go ahead and restart your router and find the network's name on your iPhone under the Wi-Fi option in settings and once that's done go ahead and connect to the network by typing in the password again and then tapping in on join now you can also go ahead and fix this problem by resetting your network settings and this technique is actually very helpful and can be used in order to solve other iphone wi-fi problems as well now to start with just go ahead and visit your settings on your iphone and select your general and then reset and then go ahead and tap on reset your network settings as shown below. Resetting the network will erase all saved passwords and networks, uh, so you must once again try and connect to a network of your choice right after and re-implement your password in case of anything. So just as a heads up. However, that should go ahead and fix those issues for you pretty easily. And now on to method number two. So usually you're going to experience this iPhone Wi-Fi not working problem with your Wi-Fi button under settings and it could be grayed out as shown on the screenshot here for instance. Now, to be stuck in such a situation is rather frustrating to be completely honest, especially when you don't even have cellular data and want to immediately access your Wi-Fi. Now this error may appear to be a software issue and tricky to deal with. However, there are actually a few things that you can try in order to combat such a situation to turn on your Wi-Fi on your iPhone or just be able to bring it back to its original state. I just start by making sure that you're on the latest version of iOS and if not, go ahead and update that from there. To check the software updates, I just go ahead and click on, on your settings and then select general and from the options that appear, go ahead and tap on software update. And if there is an update available as shown above, go ahead and install it right away. And next up, like just consider uh, resetting your network settings. As explained just a little bit earlier, it's going to be a pretty simple step-by-step -step process that will not take much of your time whatsoever. I reset all networks and their passwords and will require you to manually feed them once again. However, that should take care of the issue for you. And as for method number three, another iPhone Wi-Fi problem is that it usually keeps uh, disconnecting at random intervals. Now, this is a rather irritating Wi-Fi issue, I would say, on the iPhone as it keeps disrupting your internet access. And you might be using Wi-Fi on your device only to find out that it suddenly just disconnects and it's becoming increasingly difficult to be able to connect it right back in. And to fix this iPhone Wi-Fi issue, I finally be able to use and an interrupted internet a connection on your iPhone, go ahead and follow these steps coming right up. So first things first, uh, just make sure that your iPhone is in the Wi-Fi's range as every router has its specific range to which it caters to. And secondly, go ahead and check with other devices too. And then if that's the case and it is affecting other devices, it means that the issue is actually on your Wi-Fi and not on your iPhone. Uh, so I would recommend contacting your service provider for that as that issue is pretty much going to be out of your hands at that point. But you can also visit your settings, then Wi-Fi, and then the network name information, and then go ahead and tap on forget this network and rejoin it after just a few minutes after this connecting from it. And then fourthly, go ahead and renew the lease on the iPhone by visiting your settings and then tapping on Wi-Fi and selecting your network and then go ahead and tap on I and hit renew lease. 
And finally, you can just try to reset your network settings as explained earlier as well. And again, like it's just going to be a very simple solution from there. I just go ahead and I try to connect to it once more and then you should be pretty good to go from there. For method number four, amongst all iPhone Wi-Fi problems, iPhone can't really find Wi-Fi is the most peculiar one, I would say. And when your iPhone cannot locate or identify a particular network, there's not really much that you can do in order to make it join that network. However, even this iPhone Wi-Fi problem can be fixed, and here's what you can try when you're not able to see your network's name on the list and when you visit your settings and then Wi-Fi. I just try to get close to your Wi-Fi router and just wait for the signal to be detected by your iPhone. And if by any chance how the network does not get detected, you might try to connect to a hidden network. And to do that, go ahead and visit your settings on your iPhone and then select Wi-Fi and choose other from below at the network names appearing right before you. Now feed in the name of your network and then choose its security type and then go ahead and enter its password and finally hit join. And then lastly, you may also just go ahead and reset the network settings once more as we have been doing so far for just about every step. And if nothing resolves the issue, there might be something wrong with your Wi-Fi antenna due to dirt, moisture, etc. And it's going to need to be replaced. At least the chances are that that might be the case. However, this should resolve the issue if anything. And finally, on to method number five. If you still can't fix uh, the Wi-Fi connection connecting issue with your iPhone, then do consider using a reliable repairing application instead. After all, there could be a firmware related issue there with it that a tool like Dr. Phone System Repair can fix for you. And now this is going to be a user friendly DIY application and it can fix all kinds of minor or major issues with your iOS device. And the best part is that it is 100% a secure repairing solution that won't harm your device or cause any kind of data loss. While repairing your iPhone, I can actually go ahead and update it for you if you haven't yet. So it is going to be a very useful tool for doing just that as well. And now firstly, I just connect your iPhone onto your PC and then go ahead and launch on the Dr. Phone application and then go ahead and click on the system repair module and then go to iOS repair feature and then you can go ahead and choose between the standard or advanced repairing mode. However, we usually tend to go for the standard mode and because it avoids going through any kind of data loss and it can help you fix issues like the Wi-Fi not connecting. And on the other hand, the advanced mode can fix more critical issues, but it's going to take more time and it's going to reset your device as a result. So let's say that you went ahead and picked standard mode at first. Then you can proceed to go ahead and enter your device's model and the supported firmware version that it currently has as well. And once you finish, go ahead and click on start and the application will start downloading the supported firmware for your device. And now try not to disconnect your device and do maintain a stable internet connection to your computer in order to download the iOS update while it's added. And once the update is finally downloaded, the application is going to verify with your device's model in order to make sure that it would be updated without any kind of compatibility issues. And if there are any issues, it is going to let you know, of course. And then from there, that's pretty much it. Like you can now just go ahead and click on the fix now button and simply wait as the application would go ahead and repair any Wi-Fi related issues with your iPhone. So simply wait and let the application repair your iPhone and do not close the tool in between. Now lastly, the repair has been done and the application will let you know right from there. You can now just safely remove your iPhone and use it without any kind of issues from there. And that's it. Well, it's been five methods of fixing any kind of Wi-Fi issues that you might be having on your iPhone. Now leave us a like if you like this video and comment any of your questions down below. Also, don't forget to share this video with others, but most importantly, subscribe for more content just like this. So until next time, enjoy.